Hi everyone, in Microsoft Excel, when you insert a data bar into a cell, you can only assign it one color, but there is a way to assign it one color up to 99% and then make the bar appear to automatically turn green or whatever color you want at 100%. We can do this in two steps. For step one, select our values and from the home ribbon, click on conditional formatting, new rule. Select Format All Cells based on their values and change the format style to Data Bar. Set the minimum as a number, 0, and the maximum change to the number 1. The 1 is for 100%. Set the color of the bar to the color you want to appear when the value is not 100%, and click OK. The data bars are working, now we want to automatically fill the cell with the green background if the value is 100%. It is important to understand that if we add a green background to a cell, it appears behind the data bar. Okay, for step two, let's go back to conditional formatting, click on manage rules. Here we can see the rule that we originally set up, and we are going to add a new rule. This time select format only cells that contain the cell value is equal to one, which is our 100%, and click on format. We want these cells to be formatted with a green background, so I'll click on the fill tab, and then I have a specific green color that I'm using. Click OK. The preview window shows what it will look like. I think it will look better if I change the font color to white. So now if the cell value is 1, it will apply this format with a green background and a white font. Click OK. The cell with 100% now has a white font color, but the green background is hidden behind the data bars. We have one more thing to do, and that is to go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, Make sure that the cell value equals 1 is the first rule that appears. If you need to, use the up and down arrows to move it to the top of the list. And then click on the box in the very right hand column that says stop if true. This tells Excel if the cell value is 1, apply this format and then stop. Do not process the second rule. In other words, do not insert a data bar. But if it is not 1, then go ahead and show the data bars as usual and we have the desired result. Any values up to 99% will have a gray data bar and 100% will have the green background. A couple of things to note, if we do not want borders around the cells, then it is noticeable that the green fill color extends further to the left than the data bars. The best way I know to fix this is to add a thick white border on the left hand side of the cells. Now the filled cells line up correctly with the data bars. The other thing is if you want the data values to appear in a separate column from the data bars and not on the bars, because the cells with the bars have to contain the values, first add a formula. So I will type the equal sign and click on the column to the left that contains the value, then copy the formula down the rows. Now when we change the value in the middle column, the bars will change along with it. Then we will need to hide the values on the data bars column, click on conditional formatting, manage rules, select the first rule, and click edit rule. Change the format of the font so that the font color is the same color as the background and that way the number will not show up. When we follow the same steps to edit the rule for the data bars, there is a box we can check that says show bar only and that way it will hide the values. In this video, we use two conditional formatting rules to achieve our goal. First, we set up the data bars. Then we assigned a green background for all cells where the value is 100% and checked stop if true. If you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments, and I hope this was helpful.